hello guys and welcome in this video we're going to see how to use your physical android device for debugging and testing purpose and uh, for that we need to start by activating the developer mode on this device so let's scroll let's scroll down to the settings let's scroll to the settings here on the settings tap on the setting icon here scroll down to the about the phone tap on about the phone and then scroll down to the build number now when you reach at the build number you need to tap several times on the build number in order to activate the developer mode so i will tap several times on this build number and now you can see and now a developer from the toast just shown once this is done you can go back can go back and you will see the developer options right here so i will tap in in the developer options and here you will notice that uh, there are several options for the developer mode you can stay awake that is if you want to keep your device active while you're debugging your android application here you can activate the debugging you can activate the debugging that is you're activating you want your device to be used for debugging purpose when you connect it to your usb port you can activate it right here allow debugging yes just say okay so once you once your usb port is connected to this phone and connected to your computer your phone will be automatically used for debugging and there are many other options allow mock locations you know in case your, your application makes use of the gps and you want to have mock locations so you can explore this for many options as a developer so once this is done the next step is to connect your to connect your phone to the USB port. I will show you depending on the phone you have, the USB port can be Type C or any other form of USB port. So let me show you what you need to use. So for me, I'm going to use uh, this to connect to my to my PC to my MacBook, and this I will connect it to my to my phone. Yours, for example, if it's a Samsung phone, it, it, it may be different, maybe Type C, but this is not a Type C. So each phone has its own uh, form of connection, but it remains the same. Let's go. I will connect this to my to my. I will connect this to my to my phone and connect this to my computer. So let me do it. Let me do it right now, and I will come to my phone, and I will connect it as you can see right here. and this is done now you'll be prompted to allow debugging you can say okay or you can say always from this computer if it's your personal computer since this is my personal computer i will tap on always from this computer and i will tap on okay so now if i go to my settings screen you will uh, i will tap on the developer options right here and you see i can put it on or put it put it on and off allow from development okay so now to make this device to be used for debugging purpose i will activate it here usb debugging is intended for development purpose only yes so i will clap on i will tap on okay so once i tap on okay my device will now be used for debugging purpose so if I go to the PC, you can see the device, the physical device, physical device right here. Because I activated, because I activated the debugging purpose, activated the debugging, USB debugging, as you can see right here. Since this USB debugging is activated, now you can see uh, my physical device on Android Studio right here. Down here, you have available device. All of these devices are virtual devices. This is my physical device right here. Now you select your physical device and the, all, all you need to do now is to run your application right is to run your application on Android Studio with this uh, run app button. Once I click on the run button, my application will start Android Studio will start building my application and install on my physical device once it's ready. So now you can see it's installing and in a couple of seconds. The device the application will be launched wow hooray so now you can see my application is launched on my physical device 
this is it is it not great as easy as that so that is it the physical device is really important because it is usually faster than a virtual device physical device is usually faster than a virtual device and it helps you test some features which are not able to be tested on a virtual device so that's the physical device as that is very easy and so that is it let me know if you have any questions and i'll be glad i'll be happy to answer to your questions and share with other developers especially new developers which are just coming into android development and see you in the next video ciao